Hello, welcome to The Curious Baker. In this video, I won't be baking, but instead, I'll be doing an unboxing video. Recently, I've been on the hunt for a new Dutch oven for baking bread. After hours of research, if you're anything like me, hours is probably the short end of the time I spent on this, I was leaning towards the Lodge 5 quart cast iron Dutch oven, or the Staub. I've had a white Le Creuset Dutch oven for a few years now, and because of the high baking temps for bread, I didn't want to risk discoloring the enamel on it. So I wanted to find a black enameled cast iron. Recently, I saw the Staub come up for sale at a local kitchen supply store, and I couldn't pass up the deal. I saw it come up on several baking threads, and I'm hoping it serves me well. So let's get unboxing. We have an easy opening tab here. Let's see if I can open it. It's a little, a little hard. <laughs> it's not opening. Hopefully I'm not opening this incorrectly. <laughs> But it's definitely not a little a little trouble to open, I would say. If I'm opening this incorrectly and somebody knows a better way, feel free to let me know in the comments. But I'm just gonna rip it open. This seems a little if this was their goal with the box, I would definitely say that was a a slight fail or maybe a user error for me. All right, we we have it open, at least somewhat. <laughs> so here's the lid. It's a 24, it's got the label of 24 here, nine point, or nine and three, quarter, three eighths, made in France. It's got the nice little bumps here that help for the condensation to keep lock moisture into the pot. We have our nice detail here, a gold handle, and the nice little ribbon. Let's put that to the side. Oh, now we can see that it opens here. <laughs> Let's just tear these off. And here we have our Dutch oven. Let's pull it out. I think that's uh, it for the box. And now we have our Dutch oven. We have the booklet, the mini book, Care and Use booklet that comes with the Dutch oven. We have the little plastic pieces here to sort of protect it while well, it's packaged up. We have the little sticker here that we can remove. I got the five quart tall. The bottom has, is definitely like a teal blue color and a sticker that we can remove. And it probably says here made in France but I can't see the whole logo because of the sticker. I got the tall um, because it was on sale. The dimensions are supposed to be the same as the four quart. I did verify that online that they are fairly similar. This one's just slightly taller by about an inch. Um, and the quart size on this is 4.97 based on the website, which is considered a five quart. It's really beautiful. It's got the black enamel inside, the interior. It's a little bit rough compared to the Le Creuset, which is really nice and smooth. Um, they said that that's really great for browning. Let's take some measurements. The length, according to the website, is 11.89 inches. This is the same as the four quart, and that looks to be about right. 
The width is 9.45 inches based on the website. And that also looks to be accurate. The height is 7.24 inches with the lid. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure that and take a look. 7.24 with the, with the knob, and that looks to be accurate. And then without the lid, 5.35 inches. And I would say that that looks also very accurate. Um, the comparison between the four quart and the five quart is that the four quart, the height is really the only difference that they should have this, roughly the same dimensions based upon, I think that the only things that was different, obviously the weight, I think it's about a pound uh, lighter, the four quart, and the bottom diameter is um, four point or 7.48 inches for the five quart and 7.56 inches on the four quart. So, you know, almost the same. Oh, the last measurement is the handles. So the website says that the handle length is 0.79 inches. And I'm gonna guess that that is, is from here, here to the, to the pot, from the handle to the pot. And that's about it, that's about correct, I would say. It's a little over um, one inch from the pot to the edge of the handle. And then this way, I would say it's just over three inches, which is nice. It's not, the handle I don't think is as big as the Le Creuset, but, it, but it's really nice. The temperature, the heat resistance for this is 500 degrees Fahrenheit. And the cold resistance is um, negative four degrees Fahrenheit. It's really beautiful. Again, here's the look at the inside. It also has the nice detailing here with Staub imprinted on the handle. You might be curious at how much it weighs. I'm not sure if I mentioned it yet, but it weighs 11.46 pounds. And that's what the website says. So I'm gonna see if I can't measure that with my scale. Here we go. And I don't know if it'll hold. This is eight pounds, 8.06 pounds. And with the lid, it's 11.71. So their website says it's 11 point, almost 11 and a half. This is 11.71. I thought it would be interesting to see a visual reference a comparison for the five and a half quart standard. This is your sort of five and a half quart standard size Dutch oven. And this is the five quart tall. I know Le Creuset also has a tall version of the five quart or five and a half quart. Um, the diameter on this is slightly larger than this one here. And this one is slightly taller. Um, you can see that this one here has the white enamel. It's definitely um, takes some care to keep clean. And so for baking bread with the high temperatures, again, I was really looking for something that um, wouldn't really maybe show signs of wear so much. I also went for the five quart tall because I read online that it would be great for allowing the bread to rise. The extra height on this would be really great for that. And, but either would bake bread beautifully. Again, I just got this on a great deal. I couldn't resist. And I wanted something specifically for bread. And I'm really looking forward to baking in it. I'm curious, what's your favorite Dutch oven to bake bread in? Please share in the comments below. And if you wanna see me bake bread in this Dutch oven, please hit the subscribe button and follow along. Thanks for watching.